Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another awesome Tinkercad iPad tutorial. So let's get cracking. Today, friends, since we are turning the calendar to October, I've got an awesome little ghost. Let me show you how to make it. All right, friends, so we are in our designs, and now I want you to click New 3D Design. Our first step is going to be to rename it. I have enabled my keyboard, so I'm going to Backspace, and we're going to call this Ghost. If you're using the on-screen keyboard, of course, that'll pop up. When you click out here, it will become permanent. They mentioned that we can add notes. Notes are right here. If you don't want the note, you can hit the trash can. Just sharing some of the features that are built in. Now today's lesson is going to be real fun and fast. All right, friends, this is Scribble. There is a drawing tool. It's a ton of fun. You can make anything. That's how you hit clear. We are going to make an amazing ghost using this draw button. Notice we're going to go up and around and boom, it's a little bit ghost-like. Now I want to cut in some pieces underneath. So watch this. I'm going to draw a little thing that looks like a piece of a sheet. So I'm just trimming those like that. And boom, you have got a fun little ghost that quick. Now when you bring your ghost out, I'm going to tell you to shrink it down. I like to always type the number. Remember, I'm using my added keyboard. I'm going to hit 2 and press Enter. I like that number because it's a size that I would use for a keychain. Now I want to add eyes. I'm going to cut my eyes into this. So I'm just going to double click that part. And I'm going to use this hole again. And I'm just going to draw an eye. And an eye. And then I'm also going to draw a mouth. When we hit done, you have got a fun and fantastic little ghost in mere minutes. Now friends, that was fun and fast. I'm going to move this to the side. So notice if I do two fingers, I can push it away. And then I'm going to make another one just because it's entertaining. I'm going to go back to scribble again. So I've got to find my scribble. I'm going to drag it out. I'm grabbing that draw tool. And let's see if I can cut in the bottom at the same time. Check that out. Now if you don't like a little piece, you can erase. So I'm going to erase that right there. And then I'm going to go back to the regular draw tool. And I'm going to get the piece I wish I'd have done. And then check it out. It's almost like using a paintbrush as you clean it up. If I want to trim that side. Oops. I'm going to do undo. I'm going to switch to the eraser. And let's see if I can just trim that side by touching it. Bang. That's pretty cool. This time I'm going to hit done. And I'm going to add my eyes outside. Once again, I'm going to change it to two. Notice when you practice, you can get pretty good at doing this right there. And then let's find some fun eyes over in Creatures and Characters. There's a few eyes right here. You can also hit the All the Eyes area. And then you can bring out the ones you think are interesting. I'm actually going to play with these. But notice I've got to rotate them. So I'm going to look at it from a corner so I can see that handle. When I do Fit View and then zoom just a little bit, that's the one I want. So if you miss, just grab again, and then as you rotate, notice it shows us the number. I know I want 90, so I'm just going to let go when I get there. You could also click the box and type your 90 to put it in. Let's pinch so we can zoom. That's pretty fun, but I'm going to put it right there. And then I want to make a second one, but watch this trickeration. I'm going to duplicate, I'm going to drag it over, and I'm going to use mirror, and I'm going to just flip it so it looks just the way I want. I'm also going to make my ghost a fun color. I want this one to be yellow, just because it's crazy. All right, friends, I want to add the fun mustache, too. I'm going to just bring it out over here so it's close. I'm going to hit Fit View so I'm looking at it, and I'm going to get it at an angle. I'm going to click on it, and I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees. Now, notice if I stay close to the shape, it snaps 22 and a half degrees at a time. If I move a long ways away, it goes one degree at a time. So it's easiest if I stay inside or close to the shape. Now I want to put it on that ghost right there. So I'm going to put home, but I don't want that ghost to move. So I'm going to lock it. Now I can grab the mustache, and I can get it close to where I want. And I'm going to do fit view to zoom in and see if I like it. And then because I've got the keyboard, I'm going to do alt and shift, and I'm going to shrink it right around its middle. 
I'm holding two keys at once which is really awesome and it'll shrink right around the middle if you don't have that keyboard you're just gonna have to shrink it a little bit at a time and get it exactly where you want I'm gonna hit home so I can see my awesome ghost friends I'm gonna call this the end of my tutorial but I do want you to explore all of these areas for the other cool things you can add to your awesome little ghost I do also want to remind you when you're done with your project if you click the Tinkercad button it saves instantly when you're done with that you've made your design which is really cool a cooler thing though is to click on the properties and to make your design public once you do make it public though make sure you choose attribution no derivatives so that way other users can make the awesome project as well don't forget to give it a name a description and some tags when you've completed that hit save changes and then friends when other users go to the gallery and when they sort by recent designs they can click it and give it a reaction you can also click other people's and give them a reaction as well that's pretty sweet of course when you're done you can hit the tinkercad button to return to home there you are friends super quick steps to make your own awesome ghost using the tinkercad scribble and some of the cool built-in parts of course friends if you ever want to reach out you can visit my website hlmodtech.com i've got the sweet built-in messaging tool you can add your question comment or suggestion hit send and reach me almost instantly friends i do also want to highlight the tinkercad community discord it is a fantastic place to talk everything tinkercad finally friends of course if you enjoyed the video please give it a like please also hit that share button so more people can learn about hl mod tech of course if you got a question comment or suggestion add it down below and if you haven't subscribed yet what are you waiting for smash that subscribe button and last but not least hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me hl mod tech thanks for watching have a great day